Hello. So I'm going to be doing some computer science within Minecraft. So if you don't know what logic gates are, then this is the perfect video for you. So I'm going to be showing this as if it was a normal computer. Now in a computer, you have an input, you have something to carry the signal, just an object to sit it on. So it could be the PCB or something. You have this here, which is a not gate in itself. And then you have the output. So how about we get started? Straight up, input goes into the wire and that comes to the output. And that's how it works. A lot of people know that. Now, let's say we want to invert it. Input goes into your NOT gate, which is this redstone torch here, going into this output. So this here is inverts the signal. Just with these two sections here, you could do absolutely everything there is in computers. That's how computers works, just a line that turns on and off off being zero, on being one. So from this, let's move on to the next section. So an OR gate, all it does is connect two signals together, bring it into the output. So that's called the OR gate. So if this one or this one is on, then the output's on. And that goes for both of them as well. If we're going to make a NOR gate, which is a NOT gate mixed with an OR gate, if you're gonna do an OR gate, connecting this up to a NOT gate to the output. So now if one of these are on, or both, um, then the output will turn off. Now then we will move on to a NAND gate, oh, an AND gate, sorry. So that's built like this within Minecraft. I'm gonna build the bigger version after it. First I'll start with a small one, then the big one. This here is an AND gate, I forgot to put in the signal. So if this one on, nothing happens. This one's on, nothing happens. It only turns on if this one and this one is on. Easy way to remember it. Now the long version of an AND gate is just simply, you have the input going into a NOT gate, another NOT gate. Those are connected with an OR gate into another NOT gate. And that there makes your AND gate there. Okay, next is a NAND gate. Okay, so all a NAND gate is, is an AND gate, but inverted. And how you can do that is just like this here. So this one, it only turns off if both the inputs are off. Now a long version of this is, an, is two NOT gates connected with an OR gate into an output. That's a long version. Okay, next we're moving on to the bit more complex ones. We have an XOR gate. So how you build an XOR gate, it is a bit more tricky. You need an AND gate, AND gate here. You need the NOT gates connected with OR gates. And each of these go into another NOT gate, inverting the signal once again. And that goes into an OR, connecting them two together into the output. How this works, the output will only turn on if the inputs are different. So you see it turns on there, but if you do them both at the same time, the output turns off. Okay, so the long version of this is a bit, this is still pretty complex with this these type of ones here. So first you wanna make the AND gate as I showed to you before, which is down here. And you connect those with an OR gate into another NOT gate, and there you have your AND gate. You want to run this over here into these inputs like this. And then these here will go into some more, another NOT gate. And then these will connect together with an OR gate into the output. And that there is your XOR, the long version. Perfect. Now, the next thing you have is your XNOR gate. So that's the X, the XOR gate connected with a NOT gate. So I'm just gonna build that here. Okay, so that there is the XOR gate. Now you wanna connect this into a NOT gate like this. And that makes the XNOR gate, the X not or. So you have that there, that there, and then both of them, this turns on. So it only turns off if both the inputs are, or it only turns on if both the inputs are the same. So in if they're different, it turns off, just like that. Okay, now we're getting any even more complicated. So <laughs> the next thing we have is 
the T flip flop. Now this is a it's a bit tricky one to do. A lot of people they'll think it's pretty easy because they'll usually get the piston like this. Let's see if I got this right because this this is directional. Okay, well I didn't. Um, okay, so this is the T flip flop for um, that people you usually use, but this we can't use pistons. We only have the redstone torches and the redstone. So to make this one, <laughs> this one is a bit tricky. We need an AND gate like this. I'm going to make the compact version first and then I'll make the bigger version. So this is the end gate. Now go a few blocks over, build another end gate. Um, actually, for this end gate, I'm not going to put the inputs on. I have to connect these two together though with the button. The point of a T flip flop is to turn a input which turns on the back off into a toggleable. So it is a toggle switch. So toggle. T flip flop is toggle flip flop, I don't know, <laughs> something like that. So you have the two AND gates, and these connect into a NOR gates. So you have a NOR gate is a NOT OR, so it's an OR gate over there that's the just into a NOT gate. So you have it connected like this. Now, okay, now what you want to do is run the input into or well, the output from here into the second input of the AND gate just like this okay then what you want to do you have to run <laughs> you have to run the output from here into this one kind of like crossing over a bit and that can't be connected and then you have to actually I'm going to redesign this a little bit so to run it like this. Okay, and now, so those are connected to the OR here. Now we have to connect to this. Since this is not, this is a NOT gate, we're going to make it into a NOT OR gate. So we have the two inputs. We can't connect these two together. So you have to run it from the output of this one here. And then we have to get the output from this one. And we have to jump the line a bit just like so run it in to this one here Let me just block this off now this should give us a T flip-flop so I'm gonna so theoretically when I press this button it should go from this one to this one it should uh, go on a bit of a clock like a bit of a cycle and then eventually it will land on this one and then I can repeat it the other way and make it this one turn on there we go and that's it there so to expand this a little bit we're going to start with the input going into a not gate here and I'm going to move this over a little bit the input going to this not gate here and this not gate Hook up a second NOT gate like this, creating the AND gate, make an OR, and then the NOT gate here, just like so. Now what you want to do is take the this and put it into a NOR gate like this, run this input OR, sorry run this output all the way back to this input here and you just run, want to repeat the same with the next one like this and run it all the way back into this input here just like so now you want to take the again I'm going to do this and then I want to take the output from here and I want to run it into the input here and then same with this one here got to jump it over and then this one's going to be a bit tricky but I have to run it over into this one but these lines can't be connected like that now pretty much this should work the exact same it worked absolutely perfectly 
So that's a large version. The next thing I'm going to do is a repeater. So these before repeaters were actually added. Um, these this is what they look like. You have a not gate going into another not gate. So that's a repeater there. It works absolutely fine. Now the reason a repeater it extends the redstone signal and it also works as a delay as normal repeaters do. So using this we're going to make a clock. How you would make a normal clock is you would just get the um, repeaters here, connect those together into an input like that. But for this one it's going to be a bit tricky. You will see. So you have the repeater here and this is going into another repeater just like this and it connects like that hopefully this works there we go there's a repeater and they they, they do burn out um, because of how redstone torches work okay that's repeated next is the RS nor latch so not all latch so a lot of people already know this one you just connect them the two just like this. I don't know why it's called an or latch. Maybe it's because um, you have the or going in. Yeah, it is an or. So you have the or going into like this, and then um, you take the outputs from here, here, and here. So these are meant to be done with a button. So that switch switches over like that. That's it there. So basically, this nothing happens until this is reset. That's how it works. I think I'm going to leave off on the RS NOR latch. This here, so using this, you can make an entire computer. Well, these are how any computers work. This just basically turns into... Well, computers, all computers are, they're fancy calculators. They're very good at adding numbers together extremely quickly and work off a basic clock. But some calculations take 10 clock cycles, some take 50, um, some take thousands, a few thousand. That's why the clock runs in gigahertz, that's a billion ticks per second. Like a billion hertz a second, a hertz is when uh, is one clock cycle, um, or just an input on then off again, that's a hertz. Now, I challenge somebody to make a computer using nothing but the input, the line, the block, the torch, and the output. So, I challenge someone to make a computer like this. Now, it shouldn't be too difficult. That's about it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this, just go ahead and hit that like button, and maybe even shoot me a subscriber if you'd like to. You have a good day. I'm going to go now. See ya.